Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a bar AB hinged to the foundation at A and supported by a strut CD is subjected to a horizontal 5 ton load at B as shown in figure. Find the tensile force S in the strut and the reaction Ra at A. In this problem given is a bar AB is hinged at A and at B a 5 ton load is applied horizontally. At C a strut CD is attached like this. Angle between this strut and this bar is 90 degrees. Distance from here to here is 6 feet. From here to here it is 6 feet and this distance from here to here is 4 feet and from here to here is 4 feet. Uh, in this problem we need to find the tensile force in, the, in this strut and reaction at A, RA. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. So horizontal load that is 5 ton load is drawn here and a line extended along this and tension in this strut CD is drawn here and then a line is also extended along this line along this uh, strut and reaction RA is drawn here and a line is extended. So all these three lines must meet at a point E for this system to be in equilibrium. So if the angle between this bar and this foundation is alpha and this is 4 feet this is also 4 feet and angle between this bar and this line will also be alpha. So the total angle from total angle A between AE and AD is 2 alpha. So let us call this angle between these two lines is theta and angle between these two lines is beta. Now from this right angle triangle A, B and at this point this angle is alpha this distance is 6 plus 6 12 feet and this distance is 4 plus 4 8 feet. So from this we can find tan alpha equal to 4 plus 4 by 6 plus 6. So alpha is 33.7 degrees. Now let us see this triangle this right angle triangle here C A and D. So this angle is alpha this is beta and this angle is 90 degrees. So beta can be calculated as beta equal to 180 minus 90 minus alpha. So beta is 56.3 degrees. Now let us see this triangle here A D E. So here in this triangle we know that alpha plus alpha that is 2 alpha this angle and this angle beta. Now let us find theta. So theta can be written as theta equal to 180 minus 2 alpha minus beta. So from this theta is calculated as 56.3 degrees. Now let us draw force triangle. So phi ton here is taken first from here to here phi ton that is parallel to this line is drawn and from the end of this line another arrow is RA that is parallel to this RA is drawn here and from this uh, parallel to this uh, DC another, uh, another arrow is drawn like this. So all these three forces form a triangle. So this triangle is similar to this triangle ADE. So if this is similar then this angle is theta, this angle is beta, then this angle is 2 alpha. Now let us apply sin rule for this triangle. Sin rule is phi by sin theta equal to Rd by sin 2 alpha equal to Ra by sin beta that is written here. So from first and second terms we can find Rd equal to phi into sin 67.4 by sin 56.3. So after a simplification we get RD reaction at D, uh, the tension tensile force in strut RD equal to 5.55 ton. Similarly from first and last terms we can write RA equal to 5 into sin 56.3 by sin 56.3. So from this RA reaction at, at A RA is equal to 5 ton. That's all for today's video. If you like this content please like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.